It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Bale of Glamorgan Brewery, Vog Brewery, and it's a bottle of their South Island Maori Pale Ale coming in at 4.2% ABV. 500ml bottle then, lovely, lovely label, nice gold bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke Oy, on the opening. It's okay. Oh, look at the colour. What a lovely colour to this beer. It's a very light coloured ale. Golden, nice carbonation. One finger white head. Cleared as a bell. Really nice looking beer. Slow moving carbonation. And the, the hop in the beer is a New Zealand hop. It's been heavily late hopped with Waimea. Lovely, so we've looked at the beer, let's get the aroma. Yeah, you can get you can definitely get that lovely. You get lots of biscuit malts, lots of bready, biscuity malts in there as well. Crystal malt. And then a lovely punch, lovely It's it's almost Spicy and citrusy. Lemon, a little bit of orange peel. Let's dive in. Cheers. Nice bitterness. First thing you get is a nice sweetness, it's biscuity and bready. You get that crystal malt coming through nicely. And then you can just feel it there, on just on the on the neck of the of, of your palate. Just a slow growing bitterness that then moves up through the inside of the mouth, on the back of the tongue, on the top of the tongue. It's lovely flavour-wise, in terms of just bitterness. Hop flavour wise we're talking. It's slightly dry and it's very lemony. It's 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 grapefruity and lemony. There's some orange peel and lemon peel in there. Fleshy blood orange. But the key to this beer, I think, is just its drinkability. It's a fabulously drinkable beer. The carbonation slowly moves over the palate. Really easy drinkable. Yeah, from the session that I've just reviewed, the, the Bale of Glamorgan session, to this now, South Island. This is a nice compliment. This is a nice kind of second beer that you can kind of move on to. Buy yourself two or three bottles and just, you know, Sunday afternoon it. Enjoy yourself. Again, it's been produced really well. It's a lo lovely, great clarity to the beer. Really nice to look at. Slow moving carbonation. Slow carbonation chasing that head up the side of the glass. It's a beer that if it was poured in a bar, it would, it, it would, it would say to you, drink me. And that's important for beer. Yes, I like my cloudy beers. I like the kind of the tradition of it all but also when you get a beer that looks really good like this it smells good and tastes good it's almost a complete product great stuff let's see I'm not sure if it's bottle conditioned uh, I haven't got the size of the glass to be able to shoot. Might be able to get some more in now. Oh, here we go. It's a filtered beer and it's definitely not bottle conditioned. So yeah, I mean, this is great stuff. Great stuff. Let's rate Vogue Brewery South Island Maori Pale Ale. The 
first thing I ask is would I buy it again? Yes, I would. The next question, where would I drink it? It's either a Sunday afternoon, out in the garden, in the sunshine, or we've just finished watching the Autumn Internationals. And it would be great to grab a couple of bottles of this. Autumn Internationals, great stuff. Kick your feet back, watch a bit of rugby, pour yourself a couple of beers, job done. Or motor, I love my motorsport as well at the moment. Nico Rosberg retired today, blimey. Com unbelievable. Um, within five days of him winning the world championship, he goes and retires. But again, going back to the subject of beer, this is the type of beer that you could just kind of enjoy two bottles of, three bottles of, while the Grand Prix is on, on a Sunday afternoon, almost kind of sat back, chilled out, job done. So, rating for this, I really like it. Like the biscuity malt, like the sweetness, I like that bitterness on the back end with that lovely rolling orange peel, grapefruity, citrusy finish. Uh, great drinkability to the beer, nice levels of carbonation. The beer looks good, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. It's an eight out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.